It's a sport that demands fitness, speed, strength and agility. This is badminton. The modern game of badminton dates back to the 1800s. It used to be known as Battledore or Poona after an Indian town where British army officers played the game. They took it back to England where a duke named it after his estate called Badminton House. Vedette's 16 and has been playing badminton since she was seven. Her talent has meant she's travelled overseas to compete, where she can perfect her skills against some of the best in the world. Oh, you definitely need to be fit because it's very tiring and you need to be quite quick, quick around the court and you need to have good um, coordination as well because it's sometimes really hard to see and then hit the shuttle at the same time. The badminton rackets are like tennis rackets but a lot lighter. And if you hit a tennis ball, you'd probably break the racket. But instead of a ball, they hit one of these things called a shuttlecock. This is what we're talking about, also known as the shuttle or the birdie, because it's made up of 16 overlapping goose feathers. They're arranged in a cone shape and attached to the base that's made out of cork. When the shuttle is hit, it flies through the air, cork first, at high speed. But then the air drags on the feathers, which slows the shuttle down. Then the weight of the cork takes over, causing the shuttle to drop suddenly. When you're playing, the aim is to hit the shuttle right in the centre of the strings right there. And um, pretty much just hit the shuttle back and forth to your opponent until it lands on the ground and then you score a point. So yeah, okay. that's simple. So should we give it a go? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay let's go. Right. Badminton might not have the high profile in Australia like other sports do, but there are young people like Verdette aiming to keep the sport powering on.